Warning. This product may cause increased altitudes, more airtime, more cross-country miles, jaw-dropping awesomeness, record-breaking flights, competition trophies, thoughts of world domination, and a large permanent grin. Use at your own risk. This is the pre-flight briefing for Practical Exercise 13, Thermal Certs Pattern 2. The purpose of this exercise is to practice using the thermal search pattern to actually find and then climb in a thermal, a thermal that you might have otherwise just flown past. Here are flight track playbacks at about two times actual speed of two successful attempts of this exercise, one in each turn direction. You'll be guided on a heading that takes you near a thermal, but hopefully not directly enough into it to make the Vario beep. As you fly this heading, you'll listen closely to the Vario, listening for the sound of flying past a thermal through its outer edge. It will be up to you to decide when to start the search pattern based on what you hear from the Vario. And it will be up to you to fly the search pattern, to find the thermal using the search pattern, and to climb in the thermal. If the Vario beeps before starting a search pattern, or if you fly past the thermal without hearing it, then you'll exit the flight and start over because this will mean that you weren't quite on the initial flight path intended for the exercise. Once you start a search pattern, don't abandon it before completing it unless the Vario beeps, in which case you'll start circling and using the easiest one, two, three method, climbing till a given time or until you reach a given altitude. So far, you've practiced getting centered in and staying in a thermal only after flying directly into it. Now you'll practice getting centered in and staying in a thermal after just flying near it. This isn't the only first in this exercise. This is also the first time that you'll find and climb in a thermal without using thermal helpers. In fact, if you've met all of this exercise's prerequisites, then you've probably used thermal helpers for the last time in this course. Another new aspect of this exercise is that you'll have to make the mental shift from trying to find a thermal to trying to center it. You'll have to mentally shift quickly and at the right moment from listening closely and executing a good thermal search pattern to staying in the thermal after finding it. The practical exercise procedure handout will give you detailed instructions except that it's assumed that you know how to fly the search pattern and how to use the easiest one, two, three thermaling method. Two things that you should know how to do if you've passed the prerequisite exercises. To pass this exercise, you must fly a good search pattern, must find the thermal using the search pattern, and must climb to a certain altitude in the thermal by a certain time, strictly using the easiest one, two, three method. You must successfully complete this exercise once for each turn direction. This concludes the pre-flight briefing for Practical Exercise 13, Thermal Search Pattern 2. Relax, have fun, and good luck.